Hey guys, it's Melanie, and we are on step four of five steps to happiness. So we're almost there. Um, just so you know, I didn't make these steps up myself. I got them from TD Jakes. I just put my own spin on them um, because he's amazing, but I just wanted to elaborate more on it. So we're talking about making your relationships count today and um, how healthy relationships impact your life in a positive way. Um, but the number one relationship that you need to be straight with is the one with yourself. Because if you don't like yourself, people will not like you very much. Um, you know, relationships are crucial to our happiness and our health and our well-being. You know, re your relationship starts with yourself and then it moves on out to, you know, your spouse, your significant other, your kids, your family, your co-workers, on and on and on and on. And if the relationship with you is like, it's going to be like that with everybody else. And if you have relationships with people that are unhealthy, that's not going to make you real happy either. So, you know, you're no more than the relationships you surround yourself with. They always say, like, you become the five people that you hang out with most. Make sure they're good people. Make sure they're making you happy. Make sure they're feeding your fire and not stomping all over it. You know... Relation, you notice that there's some people that are just so miserable out there that they've, they have, you know, they say, if you can't be happy with yourself first, you're not going to be happy with anybody else. And I, I see some people like that, that have literally burnt their relationship bridges and they're unhealthy and unhappy and lonely and miserable now because they, they don't like themselves and they were miserable and treated everybody else like crap. So it's crucial for your health, your mental health, your happiness, all that to have good relationships and to make them count. Quit worrying so much about all these things and 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 don't forget how important relationships are. If you remember um, Castaway, the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks and he was all by himself, you know, he was just, uh, but he made a friend. He had Wilson because he needed that relationship. Even though Wilson wasn't talking back to him, um, it was something for him to form a relationship with, for him not to lose his mind. And I know it was a movie, but I'm just saying, if you're not having healthy relationships with other people, you probably could get crazy like you are on a deserted island. You know, your relationships, if you think about it, are where your greatest joy comes from, most of your relationships. And if it's not coming from there, you need to get the. I'm not kidding you, because I, it doesn't matter if they're family or, you know, you can still love them, but if they are toxic to you, you have to cut ties with them. Just think about this. Think about how many great friends or family members you have and how you feel when you've spent time with them laughing or remember when, remember when we did this, remember when we did that. Things like that are what make you who you are. It's It, it, it drives your happiness. It makes you feel like, you know, you're not alone. You've got these people in your life that are supporting you and emotionally there for you. And you're in turn, you're emotionally there for them and there to support them. And, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's amazing how friendships and relationships dissolve because of lack of communication or lack of compassion for one another. And, and I feel like it all starts with us, with you. It starts from us liking ourselves and the relationship we have with ourselves. And if we can get that on straight and on point, you know, all the other relationships are going to fall into place. But if you're miserable and the relationships that you have around you are no good, it's no good for you. You're not going to like yourself. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be upset with everything that's going on. So to me, when you make your relationships count and make them important and make sure that you're taking care of them and nurturing them and being around them, your relationship with yourself and with other people, that's where you're going to find happiness. You may think that you're somewhat happy and then you realize like, you know what, when I'm with this group of people, I really am not happy and I feel like we have nothing in common and, and they just talk crap all the time and they're just not my cup of tea or whatever you want to call it. That could be what's setting you off, what's making you not progress or making you not feel good about things. I know this because I've eliminated a lot of people and I, I know it sounds snobby and stuck up, but 
you know what? I don't have time for gossip. I don't have time to sit in the coffee clutch and gossip. That's just not what I want. That's not the kind of relationships I want. So I've pulled away from that. I have seriously pulled away because to me, that's toxic to where I'm looking to go. And that's not a relationship that I want to really make count in my life because it's not positive. You know, make your relationships positive. And if you, you feel that they need to improve, then you need to talk to the people that are in these relationships, your kids, your, your spouse, your friends, your coworkers, whatever it is to try to reconcile it, to try to make it better. And if you've exhausted everything in there and you're still miserable, I don't know if you can make that relationship count. You know, I mean, you may be stuck with Wilson. I don't know. You know, but what I'm saying is for our mental and emotional well-being, we have to make the relationships count. We have to make them healthy relationships and you have to know um, where your boundaries are with them. Because once you know that, then you're gonna find happiness. And it all starts, like I said, with you liking yourself and liking who you are. And if you remember correctly from episode one, you are responsible for your own happiness. So take control of that and then you can work on making your relationships count. Plain and simple. At the end of the day, like I always say, it's up to us. We have to make, we have to make it work, okay? And the thing of it is, is you want to live a full life and you want to have people around you. You don't want a bunch of Wilsons around you to the, that aren't talking back or contributing to the conversation. You know, they say people that don't have good relationships or good friendships, it's almost as bad, you know, because they suffer from like depression and and I don't know if loneliness is a condition, I would say, but they, they're miserable and it's almost as bad as like having some sort of terminal illness for these people. That's how bad it is when you have wrecked and ruined your relationships and don't have any relationships. So deep down inside, it's going to start with you and how you're working with your relationships. So keep that in mind, make your relationships count and work on owning your own happiness. This has been step four of five for our five steps of happiness. So stay tuned for tomorrow's episode and I'll see you guys all then. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.